Have you ever had this game idea you, you've wanted to develop either like a prototype or you have a prototype and you want to kind of further develop it, but you just can't figure out exactly how to you know plan and structure it in a way that, that keeps it organized enough in your brain to be able to carry out that plan without getting lost. Today I'm going to show you a method that I use uh, and that I'm continuing to use and, and further develop that you know allows me to keep a little organized you know in this this wild brain of mine that's constantly firing off random thoughts you know try to keep a little structure and develop uh you know games that 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 actually are fun i'm going to go over one of my uh millinote boards and then kind of show you the process that i would go through in order to create one you know from scratch and kind of hopefully teach you a, a way of organizing your thoughts into creating new games that could potentially be fun or even just, you know, practice brainstorming ideas and, you know, game design. It's kind of like a, an informal game design document, if, 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 if I guess that's the way to put it. Uh, Millinote is this program online. It's an app uh, that you can use to, you know, visualize your projects. You can actually, you know, have task lists and everything like that. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I learned about it from Jason Wyman, uh, Unity 3D College. He uses it a lot. And uh, I, I've actually found some success in it, and I've uh, had had a good time. It keeps it's really a visual way of keeping organized. So here's a Millinote board that I've been working on um, for my game Ragdoll Racer. Uh, you can check out the video for that. I'll put a link right, right up here. Uh, it's basically I started out with a prototype, you know, a very simple prototype using Asset Store, you know, doc uh, Asset Store assets, you know, the racetrack and everything. And I thought, you know, the gameplay could be fun. Very small, very, like, very, very tiny prototype just testing out, like, would I enjoy the gameplay? And now I want to go a little further. And so with this, I'm going to create a small vertical slice of the game and just, you know, kind of see where I'm at. So uh, going over this, I have basically on, on the left side, it's a visual, like, this is basically what you would put into a game design document in a way uh, just to kind of show you, like, you know, the initial pitch of what it would be. Um, but I like the way that Millinote uses this kind of layout where you can always add more, you can take it away, you can reorganize it, drag stuff around. It's extremely cool. Um, so going over this, you know, I picked a couple games that I that I wanted to be similar like. I picked this because I like the way the UI looked, um, but obviously it's like a Mario Kart style game with Mario Kart items. So that's why this is there. Um, it lets me lay out, you know, different ideas and I can compare them side by side. So I have some character design ideas. I have racetrack ideas just to get me in the vibe of like what's on a racetrack, you know, what goes in, into it. Um, and I, I, as you can see, like I, I'm able to keep with this, you know, one low poly style throughout the whole thing. Uh, that's that's like something that I can visually see that's always going to be in the back there. You know, I don't have to go put Forza in here because obviously it's not Forza. But this allows me to actually compare like different low poly styles, what I would want to get, you know, and, and if I'm going to buy an asset in the asset store, you know, it allows me to see, you know, the different styles that are out there. And also, I can obviously look at this and kind of make my own, so it's pretty cool. You know, I have UI styles on here, so you can kind of lay it out and see, like, okay, what kind of game would I do? Um, and then, uh, yeah, obviously, there's all these different things, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's start one from scratch if we can. I might run. I'm using the free trial, so I might run out of a uh, space. So let's see. Um, I got new board here. I got no glasses on here. Right, there we go. New board. And we'll say. Uh, what is it called? We'll say uh, new game here. We'll call it new game. All right. And so this game will be, you know, we want we want to find references. So let's go on Google. We'll say we want a game that's like Pokemon, uh, but like every time that you go into a battle, it's going to be an FPS, like 1v1 arena or something like that. So we'll say uh, we want Pokemon. So what I would do is I'd go to Pokemon, maybe find like a video of Pokemon, you know, going through the desert. You know, link here. See link, add this. Now I know, okay. It's gonna be like Pokemon, but then I kind of also want it to be an FPS. So let's say like CSGO uh, 1v1 here. All right, so let's say I was doing a 1v1 CSGO and, and you know, just something to remind me. And you know, this literally says 1v1 on it. That's what the, that is enough. You know, just the thumbnail of this would be enough to remind me. So this and this, okay. Starting out, we have, okay, Pokemon, FPS. Okay, what kind of art style would we want? Obviously, I want something low poly. Let's see, low poly shooter, right? And uh, we'll see what there is. We want to go in there, all right? We have like, literally we can just look at this. We can see, okay, I have, I have, I have this, do you like this style, you know? 
I don't know, but I really I do like this and this, you know, and I think we could probably find some assets for it. So what I would do is I just you know open it up and just put it in like this is a make a new little uh, column. We'll make a column here. We'll say you know art styles. And you keep it here. You know, let's say uh, we want this, and you know, let's go here. We'll just literally add a link. And go ahead and, and pick another one. So let's see, like something like I don't like that, but I like this. You know, and so let's go here. All right, and then we're not gonna go crazy with it, but obviously you understand that. All right, and then beyond that, you know, when it comes to games, you forget other things. Like what we want a color scheme, right? So let's say we got a. Uh, let's go to column. We'll say uh, you know colors, and you can go here and you can say okay, uh, go look at color palette. Uh, warm, you know, we want warm or we want, we want cool. So what we can do is we can look at, okay, uh, what kind of colors would be good in a shooter? You know, actually, we probably want some cool colors. It seems like the cool ones seem nicer. So we go and we say, okay, um, yeah, I'm not really big at, I'm not really good at colors, but I mean, if I would do it, I would be like, okay, I can add this one and add a link and see it. And just what I'm showing you is like the benefit of using this is really visualizing. So if you're a visual person, uh, which I think most people are, especially if you're into game dev. Uh, if you're a visual person, this is going to be like invaluable to you when it comes to creating a game. Um, some of the most important things like color schemes and stuff like that are so easy to overlook. Um, and this kind of makes it really easy to see and compare like, okay, I want not a valid URL. Okay, well, that's not true because I just used it. Maybe I didn't copy it correctly. But uh, copy that. There we go. Not a valid URL. Well, you know, whatever. You get the idea. But let's find one more so we can compare it. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so budge. All right, going wild now. All right, so okay, do I want this color scheme, this color scheme, you know, and stuff, stuff like that that doesn't really seem like it matters. I usually put the stuff that's hard for me, to, like get my head around. I would put on a board like this and keep myself, you know, engaged in the stuff that I find too difficult. That kind of makes me quit in the in the long run, um, and so I can kind of marinate on this stuff. Like, okay. Which one is different? You know, they basically look the same to me. Uh, maybe not to you, but like they're basically the same. So I'd have to think, okay, I'll go back to this. You know, what else would I need in, in it? I would maybe pick like, you know, a column for guns or something like that. So I'd be like, okay, uh, guns, you know? And then you say, okay, different kinds of guns that we can have would be like, I don't know, uh, re, uh, low poly guns. And we go here, we say, okay, all right, literally, I mean, I could just... Go in here and be like, okay, well, that'd be cool to have in here. So you guys get the idea. Um, this kind of, of development is, is good at any stage of a game that you're making. Taking the time to plan, you know, get, get away from the actual game development side of it and take some time to actually, like, you know, design it and plan and see what's going on. It will improve the quality of your games, like, tenfold. You'll be able to, like, you know, see what you're doing before you do it. Now I'm I'm the kind of guy that always you know just kind of is impulsive and takes my like you know makes some crazy creative decisions that always kind of backfire on me right so taking this little extra time to plan is is proving invaluable so far and I'm sure in the future it will only prove more invaluable than it is now uh, I would recommend you know if if you go do this this is not sponsored by Milanote but I would I would recommend everyone try it out a little bit at least see if you can find you know a way to create a new kind of game or, or a new style and and just let me know how it goes in the comments. I think if if you're watching this and you're you made it this far, you know, go and humor me and go, you know, think of, you know, a game that's that's very odd and obscure and try to make yourself a Milano board and, and share it below, you know, paste the link. I'd be happy to look at it or go in Discord and let's discuss it. I think that'd be so cool uh, and really awesome if you guys could do that and, and just let me know what you guys are thinking about. I think using these Milano boards is is kind of the the future of my game dev career just because of the of the simplicity of kind of putting my ideas into some kind of a, a, a solid form some kind of a hard art form if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe if not sorry hopefully you like the next one subscribe maybe you'll like the next one uh and you know have a good day catch you on the flip side